have done our own test on the Optimum 9400 and... The Vitamix Total Nutrition Center. We have, because so many people ask us questions about both, because they're both high quality, high speed blenders, which I know that I've said a couple of times today, mm. but they truly are. If you have a look at them up front, they look quite similar to each other. They've got the two d buttons on the front and the dial on the front, so they turn from low to high. They have the ability to, s to create the same thing. So mm. hot soups, cold smoothies, sorbets, ice cream, you can grind grains and you can make nut butters. And we've done a selection of those things today because we really wanted to see what the difference truly was between this. Um, they've both got high quality material jugs, the lids both lock into place and are easy to use. They both come with the tamper and also a lid cap, although the Vitamix does also come with the wet jug and the dry jug, but you can do everything in the Optimum 9400 single jug. Let's recap on all of our results today, Rory. The okay. first thing that we made was the hummus. What did you think? Hummus, I found the same recipe. They both tasted fantastic. They tasted exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same. However, the Optimum 9400 was slightly smoother and we were quite surprised. Actually, we were. Yeah. <laughs> when we were like, oh. Um, the, I thought that, that would be identical because mm. the beans are quite thick and sludgy. There is six long blades, which we know make fast work um, of thick and, and mixtures like that in the 9400. But the difference was that there was actually tiny little bits of garlic mm. in, the, yeah. um, in the result from the Vitamix. So I was um, surprised that there was any difference at all because you know it is a thick mixture and we thought that they would be the same. The second thing that we did was... The smoothies. The kale, kale smoothie. smoothies. Yeah, and look, the kale smoothie, kale we chose on purpose. It's a hearty green, as I mentioned already, and it's not easy to do it in a, a low quality blender at all. So we knew that both blenders would give a good go at it. We did a close up with the paper test so that we could see mm. exactly the result. To our taste buds, my initial taste was that the 9400 was smoother than the Vitamix um, taste, Rory. Mm. Initially, I thought the Vitamix was smoother. But then we had a taste again, and I found that there was a slight bit more grit in the in the Vitamix. I'm not no idea why that is, but just that's just and actually we couldn't see any difference. What else we were, we didn't we don't know what happened, and maybe it was a one-off occurrence. But when we left them to sit while we did the close-up of the paper test, what we noticed was that the Vitamix started to separate. Mm. So the kale sort of settled to the bottom, and there was some liquid on top, which we took a shot of as well, and you'll be able to see um, those differences. Again, we don't know if that was a one-off because both were very very smooth, and no other blenders that I've used um, would come close to what mm. we got a result out of either of them. Um, the next thing that we did was the Peanut nut butter. butter. It was the same, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the same. Exactly no difference. the same. Absolutely yep. no difference between no. the two. Both had warmed up a little bit, but both were not too hot that you wouldn't consider them still to mm. be raw. Very, very easy to make. We simply put the nuts in, we used the tamper, same mm. amount of time, tipped them out, and they were ready to rock and roll. So absolutely no difference between the two blenders. And then the last thing we did was grinding the black seeds. Error on my part is we probably could have blended a little bit longer for both of them, mm. um, but certainly they were ground, and I would say the consistency was exactly the same yeah. as well. Yeah, I'd say the same. I thought on inspection it was different, but how do you tell a grain of sand from another? Really? Yeah, well, that's exactly true. But look, high quality, high speed blenders. I love the Optimum 9400. I use it at home every single day. It does everything that I need it to do. Um, I encourage you to have a play with yours. Yeah, have a go. See you next time. Cheers, see you.